I mean, it's really nice being home for 14 games uh, to start the season, but uh, you know, I think it's really important that we learn to play well on the road. Um, and uh, we're going to win a championship. We're going to win it on the road. But uh, you know, it was good to finish up with three game sweep of Ryder. Um, they played hard. Uh, they played well. Uh, none of the games were easy for us, but uh, it was nice to see us play a good brand of baseball, uh, consistency on the mound, timely hitting, and, and solid defense. And that's what this team's got to be made of. I really am excited and pleased to see that our starting pitching is kind of uh, rolling in the form here of what we anticipated going into the season. I thought Scott Hoffman pitched very well on Friday and then to be able to put the ball right into uh, Britain's hands and, and basically let him finish it is a, is a luxury. Uh, and then Andre Scrub and, and uh, Andrew Gottfried are really special under the doubleheader. Um, when you can go out there and get two great starts like they provided us, a lot of strikeouts, missing barrels, making pitches when you need to, uh, gives you a lot of security um, when you're playing uh, you know, 18 innings in a, a day. It's cliche in baseball, they say pitching and defense wins games, and there's no doubt about that. And we, we're talented defensively. We've got special guys. Uh, you know, the infield is, is solid. Um, we didn't always play that way early, but I do think that uh, those guys are starting to relax and, and playing with a lot more confidence. We're turning double plays. Uh, we're making some special plays at times, but it's the most important thing for us is just to make the plays that we get to, make the fundamental plays, make the routine plays consistently. Um, and that'll put us in position to win ball games based on the quality that we have on the mound. Um, and then, you know, I never want to neglect the outfield. We always talk about infield play when you talk about defense, but golly, our outfield is special. We have uh, four to five guys that can really run it down out there. They cover a ton of ground. Um, and, you know, we have a spacious ballpark, so starting off our season at home uh, in a spacious ballpark, letting those guys run things down uh, would prove to be an advantage for us as well. Austin Zenti's a, a great story. Uh, he's a kid that uh, is a local kid that I've seen grow up, uh, seen him play with various organizations, and he's one of these guys that the more you see him play, the more you appreciate him, which you can't always say for players, but uh, you know, he brings so much to the table. He's a competitive kid, obviously he's swinging a bat outstanding, hitting over 400 right now. Um, he's driving runs in and he's a terror on the base pass. When he gets on the bases, we feel like he's capable of stealing second and third at any time. Um, so, you know, he's kind of like instant offense right now for us. And uh, it's been fun to see him having not gotten a lot of playing time last year to be patient and, and uh, continue to hone his trade. And, and now he's uh, seeing the benefits and the rewards of that. Opening up conference play, we want to get off on the right foot. Um, you know, Asheville's always tough at home. Um, and so we haven't played well on the road as of yet, even though it's only been a couple of games. So we need to go up there and uh, be able to uh, create the same type of atmosphere and energy uh, that we know we play best within um, as we take things on the road. So we need to go up there and pitch well. I think we will. Uh, we need to continue to roll and, and you know, be timely with our offense and uh, definitely want to get up there and win the series and don't take anything uh, for granted or don't just assume it's going to happen, but I know our guys are ready.